Good Friday morning, my friends. I'm Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa here with the MLive Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. And I'm a little bit worried for the about the northeast half of Lower Michigan on this uh, sunny forecast that I'm seeing for Sunday as uh, new data is showing that it'll be cold enough aloft we'll have what we call cyclonic curvature of the wind flow and all that spells it can be a touch on the showery side a touch not a crazy but mm, I'd just be alert for it all right so now look at the satellite picture look at north of Lake Superior. See that swirling vortex? That's the upper level low pressure system spinning counterclockwise. Hey, Ed Johnson's participating in the WSF, we call it, starting now. The work skipper Friday. I'm not participating, as you can see. Uh, so that spinning vortex spins down the cooler air. Now, Lower Michigan insulated, even Upper Michigan, uh, up the Upper Peninsula insulated from cooler air off to the west because the Great Lakes are about the warmest they're going to be now. But you can see the clouds, the cloud shield forming in Wisconsin, the western part of the UP. That's in the cooler, unstable air, and that will be heading this way. But at this time of the year, the cold fronts take a while to get through Michigan because summer still has the stronghold on the weather pattern. And so the radar right now shows that it's dry and I do expect a mostly dry Friday. So here is our radar forecast that we like. This is that high resolution rapid refresh model. We're gonna look at a few of them. Oh, I just nuked it. Hold on just a second. Okay, we're back. Um, so, you know, let's go to mid-afternoon three o'clock and you see the spotty showers across the up that's in the colder air and we go to this evening nine o'clock and you see spotty showers forming from a petoskey to charlevoix to kalkaska to the traverse city area these are these are brief things these are five ten minute uh type showers and uh Let's see, Carmelita Tiffany uses a great word to describe some of this weather. Lovely, you know, not humid, comfortable. You get sunshine at times, lovely is a good word to use. This is overnight tonight and just a couple of stray showers in the north. Then tomorrow, this is early afternoon. That's why I say from the north side of Traverse City, through Gaylord, through Kalkaska, uh, toward Boyne City, uh, toward the Mackinac Bridge, up across the UP. That's where you'll have the spotty showers on Saturday. And then we go to Saturday evening and the colder air has settled in aloft. It takes a while because of the warm uh, mass of the Great Lakes. So it takes a while for even the colder air to come down aloft and that gets the lake effect showers going more on Saturday night. And now this model only goes out to uh, Sunday morning, but let's pick it up with another model that goes out farther. Okay, and we go through Saturday. So Saturday we're talking about showers in the northern third of Lower Michigan and the UP. Now we go to Sunday morning, 8, 9, 10 a.m. And everything's kind of showing a thumb, Saginaw area, spotty shower or two. This is the early afternoon on Sunday. I don't want to make it seem like Sunday is a wet day. I'm just saying that in the northeast part of the state, <coughs> excuse me, um, you would have the chance of a quick shower or two. Here's the wind. So this is the wind forecast uh, aloft. And you could see that as we go through the night tonight 
and into tomorrow we've established a north northwest wind and that's what brings the cooler air in. look at that flow this is Sunday look at that north northwesterly flow and so hello shades of fall at least for a short time period here's that same model showing the cooler air moving in now this afternoon lovely lovely in Ann Arbor and Detroit and Lansing and Kalamazoo and if, if you like 70 or 75 lovely Saginaw Bay City uh, Traverse City 68 tomorrow this is tonight the cooler air invades and then tomorrow afternoon really from about Claire northward the weather pattern will change you'll be about 70 in the south you'll only be in the low 60s in the north and let's go out into Sunday afternoon and you're back in well to near 70 in the north on Sunday and in the low 70s in the south all right so what happens on into the future um, hey Adam Hunt yes uh, Tawas Bay looking a little choppy at the moment yes and you're gonna have wind coming too remember boaters what happens is uh, Adam Hunt brings up a real good point that I want to want to bring out to you. So when you get abnormally cool at this time of the year, you know we normally should be uh, in the low 80s. If you're looking at highs only of 68 or so, that means there's cold air aloft and it's working down on the surface. That cold air is heavy, it comes down. The warm air at the surface on the waters is warmer. It moves up and it causes these uh, rolling eddies in the atmosphere and that stimulates waves. So at this time of the year on colder air, the waves will tend to be higher at any given wind speed. So if you say, you know, you go out on Saginaw Bay with a northwest wind at 10 miles an hour and it's okay, that northwest wind at 10 miles an hour will probably be stronger when you get a cool spell like this. So expect the waves. And uh, stay off of the Great Lakes swimming, especially Lake Michigan, because you'll have very high waves. This is one of those classic weekends when some stupid things happen by people. Um, you know, they don't realize the power of water. Water always wins. Okay, out into the future. So we got Saturday, some showers in the north. We got Sunday, maybe some showers, Alpena, Escota, Tawas, Saginaw Bay, the Thumb, the rest of us dry and lovely. I'm going to use that word a lot. Thanks, you, Carmelita. Um, hey, Pamela Todorov using lovely also. So Monday, winds die down pretty nice lovely again saturday uh, tuesday nothing really meaningful going on watch out in the atlantic this is our next thing and these things affect our weather so this is wednesday and thursday still no storm system next week this is friday of next week and then note the tropical system perhaps in the east in in the atlantic that can make a log jam of weather and warm us up and that's kind of what's indicated for next weekend next weekend again pretty quiet so um, it looks like we're going into a really nice stretch of weather all right so today low to mid 70s in the south low 70s in the north tomorrow let's use claire as the break line claire northward the clouds settle in more and it holds you in the low 60s and in the southern half of the state you're looking at temperatures in the low 70s sunday low 70s upper 60s in the northeast shades of a little taste of fall but don't worry still a lot of summer left here folks only August 12th on Monday, back to 80, upper 70s to low 80s Tuesday, low 80s Wednesday, low to mid 80s Thursday, mid to upper 80s Friday. Nine and 10 days out, uh, but temperatures look like they'll be in the 80s as we head toward next weekend. So do not despair. 
This is not the big march into fall, which leads to our favorite season, right? Winter. No, this is this is just a preview, and it's pretty common in August. So we need a couple day cool down, and then we come back to warmth, summer warmth. But a lot of times we come back to it without the summer humidity. So we're uh, in line for a great stretch of weather. I still contend if you have some vacation days to burn up next week, the week to do it, certainly. So, hey, thanks for joining me on the M Live Morning Weather Update brought to you by Consumers Energy. I'm M Live Chief Meteorologist Mark Torregrossa. Have yourselves a great weekend. Find that sweatshirt. You're going to need it at times. Bye.